in the Bible, our 29th lesson, and start off with Syria, Syrian, or Antioch, in Acts chapter 11, verse 26. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Now when we're looking at the Bible, we've got two avenues. <clears throat> we've got Antioch and we got Alexandria or Egypt. Throughout the scriptures, God told his people, do not go back to Egypt. He told the kings, don't get wives, don't get gold, don't get horses from Egypt. Don't run to Egypt for your Bible. Run to Antioch. Antioch is the realm of the King James Bible. Alexandria, Egypt is the realm of your modern Bibles of Westcott and Hort. Antioch is the godly line. Alexandria is the satanic line. And yes, I am calling the modern Bibles satanic. And I am calling the King James godly. I heard a pastor tell me, with, with, with men and women in the, in the Old Testament, they were Christians. And I told him, Acts 11, 26, they were first called Christians in Antioch. Up to Acts eleven twenty six, there were no Christians. And the history of the Bible come from Antioch or Alexandria. Antioch, we were first called Christians, and and to be called Christians, it was a it was a a bad I want to say bad word. It was a a pun. It was a disgrace. Oh, you're one of them Christians. You're one of them Christ followers. Don't want to be a Christian. And we have no business in Antioch. Uh, we have no business in Alexandria. Correct what I just said. Antioch is where we're to be. We have no business to be in Alexandria, Egypt. Syriac translation is from Antioch. It's a completed New Testament Syriac language. Translation of the New Testament appeared 150 AD. That's those silent centuries again. That the scholars. Oh, can't believe that. Don't have anything. That's why scholars don't run to Antioch. They run to Egypt. They run to Satan and not God. It agrees with every detail of the text of our King James Version. It's a Byzantine Texas Receptus. So, when it comes to Bibles, you got to know there's a godly line and there's a satanic line. Godly line is Antioch at Acts 11.26. And Alexandria, Egypt is the satanic line. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I got an NIV, and a New King James. I got, oh, oh. You got Satan's Bible. You have got a Bible that has added and subtracted and footnoted the Word of God. And God, through the Scriptures, don't add and don't subtract. The Coptic version was translated to the Church of Egypt 
and the Church of Syria. It translated 150 AD. A complete copy was found in the ruins of, of a white monastery 150 miles north of Cairo, Egypt. Balim copies, various Coptic copies. 265 A.D. Now the Apologies. I don't know how far we're going to get. Maybe see where we are now. Christian Apologetics is a branch of Christian theology that defends Christianity against objections. So when we get atheists attacking Christians, and we defend. That's apologetics. Plain and simple. When a Catholic attacks a Christian in the Bible. And we defend the Bible. That's apologetics. Christian apolog apologetics has taken many forms over the centuries. Starting with Paul the Apostle. He would have to defend against the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the Hebrews, and the Gentiles. In the early church, we've got the, 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 the church fathers that wrote of origin, Augustine of Hippo, Justin Martyr, and Tertullian. And continuing with writers such as Thomas Aquinas, Dun Scotus, William Oxham, men throughout church and Bible history have written, have defended, have taken attacks on our Bible. And even 2021, we have attacks on the King James Bible. By scholars, by Christians, by churches. And we got to put forth, I'm putting forth apologetics right now. Telling you, teaching you, guiding you. Why the King James? That's what this whole study is about. Why the King James? I believe you're not going to find the NIV, the RSV, the ASV, the New King James, and all the other modern Bible. You're not going to find them in heaven, but you'll find the King James. You'll find the Geneva Bible. You'll find the avenue of the Antioch Bibles. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. That would be the Antioch Bibles. And sure not the Egyptian Bibles. Arshides. I'm saying his name wrong, but A-R-I-S-T-I-D-E-S. -S. Converted to Jesus Christ by the preaching of Justin Martyr. And we studied him the other day, other time. He was friends of the men... And companions of Jesus. The, the philosopher robes are earned. He wore his philosopher robe to attract people in the public thinking they were to have a philosopher, but instead he teach and preach about Jesus. So, artists Earned the philosophy clothes. And he wore his clothes and people say, Ooh, what's this philosopher going to say? And they would gather around him. And he would teach Jesus. I'm reminded by a preacher one time. I believe it was a street preacher I was told. He had his hat on the ground, and he said, it's alive, it's alive, it's alive, it's alive, it's alive. And a group of people came around, and they're looking at the hat, and he picked up the hat, and underneath that hat was the Bible, and he said, the Bible's alive.
first Christian century of living this man. He and the apostles knew each other. 1117, he left the apology of the faith and de dedicated to Hadrian. He appealed to the New Testament scriptures in all his writings and various subject matter of and about Christians. In 117 A.D., now, quote, Now the Christians reckon their race from the Lord Jesus Christ, and he is confessed to be the Son of God Most High, having by the Holy Spirit come down from heaven, having been born of a Hebrew virgin. He took flesh, peered unto men, to call them back from their error of many gods, and having completed his wonderful dispensation. He was pierced by the Jews. After three days, he revived and went up to heaven. And the glory of his coming, thou canst learn, O king, from the from that which is among them the evangelic scriptures of the New Testament scriptures. If thou wilt read it, he's witnessing to a king. He, the twelve disciples who who after his ascent into heaven went forth into the provinces of the world and taught his greatness. Whence those who at this day believe their preaching are called Christians. That's the gospel. We are called to witness the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We're not called for your church. We're not called for your pastor. We're not called for our light to shine. We are called in the name and in the work and the blood and the finished merit of Jesus Christ upon Calvary's hill that he is Jesus Christ. He is God and he is the only way. He is the truth and he is the life and to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Thank you for listening. Like us. Spread out the word. Get these videos out. Get in the King James Bible.